Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a car with a turbo engine. Let's say you have a turbo engine guys and you have a problem where you have under boost or not having enough boost, low boost. Stay with us, we will explain the top four things that usually cause that. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your car to fix it, check out the link in the description of the video below. You can get parts and tools for really good price, quick shipping, and you can save quite a bit of money. Number two, every single car we get at the garage, we try to take them completely apart, engines, transmission, interior, exterior, we make more than two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Now, uh, let me explain what we have specifically here. This is a BMW with a turbo engine, four cylinder, 2.0, 240 horsepower. Uh, so uh, it will be about the same for most modern vehicles. Now, looking at that engine guys, what can cost under boost conditions? One thing I recommend always inspect your hoses guys for the, okay, for the intercooler, like this hose right here, make sure it's connected to the turbo, make sure it's connected to the intercooler and you don't have a cracked hose or a leaking clamp sometimes. Make sure you don't have a leaking intercooler. Leak in the system will not uh, build enough pressure, the pressure will come out of it. And as a result, you have a low boost or uh, under boost as well. Number two, something that you need to consider, you may have a malfunctioning wastegate. The wastegate is on the exhaust. It's practically when the turbo starts building too much uh, pressure, what will happen? The wastegate actuator will open the wastegate, so we will let the uh, exhaust gas come out of the exhaust instead of going through the turbo. And if the wastegate is stuck open or it's leaking, that can cause under boost as well. That can be caused by something else too. So that could be caused by the wastegate actuator, that's the actuator, that's a mechanical one that's controlled by vacuum or you may have an uh, electronic one. For instance, that BMW, that 5 series here has the mechanical one controlled by vacuum, that 3 series is the same engine but it uses electronic one, okay? And both of them are 2013, so in, it just really depends sometimes. But it could be best wastegate actuator if it's controlled by vacuum, it could be a uh, bad solenoid for the wastegate actuator, it could be loose uh, vacuum vacuum line, crack vacuum line or um, leaking vacuum line as well. Number three guys, okay, it's very likely you have a bad diverter valve. That diverter valve practically, okay, sends the boost, okay, uh, to the intake or uh, not through the intake. So if that valve is bad, what will happen? It will divert the boost and your engine will not get boost. So bad diverter valve will cause that. That's what our problem is right here. We have low boost, under boost because of bad diverter valve seals inside. So we rebuild it with the DV plus, which is amazing. It improves the throttle response. It improves the um, turbo lag, less of a turbo lag, almost none. And it sounds amazing. So we'll have a special video how to install DV plus. Okay, or check it out if you want to see uh, GFB DV Plus installation on our channel, we'll teach you how to do that. Number four, it could be a bad turbo. Okay, a bad turbo may not build enough pressure as well. But I will always start with a waste gain, actuator, diverter valve and check for leaks. Turbo will be the last thing that I will check. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you having problems with that. Also in some cases it could be a bad turbo map sensor that's not reading correctly that can affect it. We'll have more about that on our channel about the turbo map sensor. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.